Rose Cosmetics exhaust. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> So today I have such an exciting video for you. I am going to be sharing with you my uh, answers for the eyeshadow palette tag. And I believe this was created by Samantha March and Allie. I don't remember her last name, but I think it was created by them. So yeah, I decided why not go ahead and do this tag video. So the first question, also before we start, uh, I know my makeup looks a little extravagant, but I wanted to do like a fun, really dramatic eyeshadow look to kind of fit in with this tag. So if you guys want a tutorial on this, definitely let me know. Um, it's just a winged out cut crease. Um, so yeah. Anyways, the first question is show your newest palette. So my newest palette is this guy right here. This is the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Exotic. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> exotic peacock. So it says, a beauty we can all achieve when we show our true colors. So the packaging is beautiful and here is what the palette looks like. It just has beautiful purples, blues, greens. It has some pops of like pinkish colors here. So that is my newest palette and I actually haven't used this yet. Um, I've only swatched it so that's my newest one. The next question is show your oldest palette. So my oldest palette are these palettes from MAC. They came out all the way back in 2007. So this guy is 13 years old. I don't use it anymore, but the only reason why I keep it is because it's nostalgic and the packaging I think is so pretty. So this is the MAC Royal Acids Six Cool Eyes Palette. So it comes with this beautiful packaging, a nice little mirror, and then these are the colors. So it comes with some uh, bluey purples and then more pinky tones. And I just remember I love this palette and this was like one of my just prized possessions when I was younger. So definitely that one has to be my oldest. The next question is show your most expensive palette. So without a doubt, my most expensive, okay, let me move these here. <laughs> my most expensive are the Natasha Denona 239 green brown and purple blue. So this one is the green brown one, and then this one here is the purple blue one. I love these palettes, I cherish them. They're such great, amazing products. However, every time I purchase one, I'm like, wow, that is exorbitantly priced, yet I still buy it. <laughs> so do I think it's overpriced? Yes. Do I think it's a great palette? Also yes. So I love these, I believe they retail for 228 I think um but yeah I love these highly highly recommend them and then what's the next question what or show your most affordable palette so my most affordable has to be this one this is the smoke and mirrors essential nudes you can see it's five bucks and these shadows are actually quite beautiful <laughs> It says, may your day be as flawless as your makeup. So these mattes in here are so stunning. They're so creamy and buttery and pigmented and they smooth out um, beautifully on your eye. Also these shimmers. Now these shimmers aren't gonna be something like out of this world, but I do think that this is a really great palette, especially for $5. Like I feel like this should be at least a $15, $20 palette, but it's five bucks show your most every or show your everyday palette so my every this was kind of hard to choose because i couldn't really think of an everyday palette um because obviously i do crazy looks like this sometimes i go for a very neutral look so it's kind of hard to choose for me but definitely um i went with my iconic london day to slay eyeshadow palette 
So this basically has all the neutrals that you would need. Shimmers, mattes, cool tones, warm tones. It even has some of these like corally pinky colors, which are beautiful. And I really do love this palette. I, I don't like the packaging on it. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But um, yeah, the colors in here are beautiful. And I have used this a lot recently just for like simple everyday looks. Really, really love that guy. Show your most colorful palette. So my most colorful definitely has to be my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. Now this I'm actually wearing on the lid today with my Melt Cosmetics Morte palette, but this is Jawbreaker. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> the colors in here are beautiful. They're so bright and vibrant, and we all know Jeffree Star's just he just makes such good quality eyeshadows and I think it is perfection. The mattes are so pigmented, so smooth, very blendable, and the shimmers are very, very vibrant. So I definitely recommend the Jawbreaker palette. I think it's still available too. And then show your biggest palette. So how I took this question is just your biggest palette. <laughs> and I think this palette actually has the most colors as well. So that one has to be my Morphe James Charles palette. Now, when I first got this palette, I thought this was going to be like the size of the Tati Beauty palette or like the old Urban Decay Vice palettes. I did not think it was going to be this big. Like just to put into comparison for you, this is my Natasha <laughs> this is the James Charles one. So it's quite big. It's quite bulky. I know he came out with a mini one, but I didn't grab it. This is just massive. The colors are beautiful. The mattes are stunning. Um, the shimmers are really nice as well. And you just get a really, really nice variety of different shades. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's so big, so it's hard to store in my collection. But if you got the mini one, then that would be solved. <laughs> okay. Uh, show your palette with the best memory. So that one absolutely has to be my Naked Urban Decay palette. I mean, really, is it a eyeshadow palette tag video if I don't include this? <laughs> this palette was revolutionary. It literally changed the makeup game. This was the very, very first palette that had a bunch of neutrals, and it was really like the first of its own. Um, there really weren't any a lot of competitors making this type of palette. Now there's a ton of palettes and there's just a plethora of different neutral colors but this is iconic. I love this um, but yeah when I was younger I would you know save up all my money and try to get this. This is actually a repurchased one. Um, my very very first Naked palette is long and gone, all used up, and this is my second one, and they did discontinue it, which sucks because I love this palette, but I assume not a lot of people are really interested in it anymore, or they already own it, so I don't know, but this palette definitely has the greatest memory. Um, it's just very nostalgic. I, like, all I wanted was the Urban Decay Naked palette. Urban Decay Naked, just MAC shadows, but this definitely has the greatest memory because it just brings me back to like when I would save up my allowance and like all my money and then we finally went out and got it and I was ecstatic. I was so excited about it and I mean honestly now that I look at it the colors are pretty I mean they're neutral <laughs> but I was just so excited to have this so that one definitely brings back the greatest memories and then show a palette worth the hype. Now this question was the easiest for me because as soon as I read it I was like it's this guy right here. This is the Tati Beauty Volume 1 palette textured neutrals and this palette she's just she's just stunning. I mean I would expect nothing less from Miss Tati Beauty and this palette is so unique. I know it's neutrals but it's unique in the way that you basically have these uh, columns here and 
They're based off of one color, but they're in different finishes. So because you have a multitude of finishes, you can really, really create a very detailed, diverse look using the different finishes in here. So you can see it has glitters, it has metallics, it has sequin, which is kind of like a matte shadow with micro glitters thrown in, and then matte. All the hype that you hear about this palette, I would absolutely have to agree. I just love this palette so, so much. And if you like pressed glitters, Tati Beauty does a fantastic job with pressed glitters. All right, the next question we have here is, show a palette not worth the hype. So it's a little bit hard for me to decide, but I ended up going with the Anastasia Jackie Aina palette. So, so many people love this, and when they use it, it looks absolutely beautiful on them, but just these colors, for some reason, don't seem to suit me. Um, honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I don't even know why I bought this palette, because these pinks and purples right here, I don't really like to use or reach for. Um, some of these shades are nice, and then like the Sam shade, I said it before in one of my other videos, it's such a beautiful rose gold, but I just don't find this to be a cohesive palette for me. Now, if you like these type of colors, I think it's a beautiful palette and the quality is great. I just didn't like it for myself. Show your favorite palette from a favorite brand. So, I don't know if this is necessarily my favorite brand, but I have the most amount of palettes from this brand. And again, Anastasia Sultry Palette. I cannot say good enough things about this freaking palette. <laughs> this palette is... Like I said, it's everything I want and more. It has my perfect neutral shades. It has some deep shades. It has cool tones, warm tones. It has a pop of coral. What more could you want in a neutral palette? So every single time that I don't know what makeup look to do or I'm kind of just like tossing around and not really knowing what eyeshadow look I want, if I want something that's smoky, sexy, something for like a night out, this is my go-to. So I... I just love this guy. <laughs> okay, and then the last question is show your most used palette. So my most used palette definitely has to be this. This here is the original Lorac Pro. I believe they still make this. I hope they do because this palette, again, just like the Urban Decay one, this was a revolutionary palette. Um, it came with an entire row of mattes. You can see I've hit pan on these two. I've hit pan on the black. I've hit pan on um, these like mid-tone colors. This palette is, it, it's just great. <laughs> the reason why so many people were <clears throat> intrigued by this palette when the Urban Decay one came out is because of all the mattes in here. Seriously, back then, if you had the Lorac Pro palette plus the Urban Decay Naked, these were like a duo, like a match made in heaven. <laughs> you have all your shimmers in the Naked, and then you have all your mattes plus more shimmers in the Lorac Pro. So definitely my most used has to be this one. I feel like I missed a question, didn't I? Okay, show your smallest palette. So uh, my smallest palette are these guys right here. So these are the Huda Beauty um, Obsessions palettes. So I have all five of them, Amethyst, Topaz, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. These palettes are so cute. They're so small, but they pack a punch. So that's the purple one or the amethyst one. This one is topaz, which has like warm tones and neutrals. This one has ruby obsessions, which has stunning burgundies and reds. This one is sapphire, which is just divine. And then this one is emerald. So this one has greens. So I love these little palettes. They're so travel friendly. And I think all of the Huda Beauty like little palettes um, that come with the nine shadows are travel friendly. Um, now these ones are, at least in my opinion, I don't think you could get a full look from just one palette. So that's the only thing that I would say about this. But some of her other palettes that are smaller, you could totally get a full look out of. I just like having different options I guess. 
So yeah, that concludes my eyeshadow palette tag. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I tag pretty much everyone that watches this video. <laughs> if you want to go ahead and do this tag, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'd love to watch your video. But if you enjoyed this tag, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.